All right, these are the parts of the mandible and palatine bones. This is by Addie Dewey and Kaylee Black. The mandible is the lower jaw. It's also the strongest bone in the face. It's connected to the temporal bone by the only free moving joint in the face. So in the mandible, we have the body, which forms the chin. We also have the angle, which is in between the ramus and the body, and you can remember this because it is an angle. The ramus is what connects the uh, mandible to the temporal bone. And we also have the mandibular notch, which is a depression between the condylar and coronoid process of the mandible. And then if we're talk since we're talking about these processes, over here the coronoid process, it's a triangular process or a flattened triangular projection, which you can see right here, it does form a triangular shape. And it's where the temporalis muscle um, attaches. And then over here, the condylar process, it is a literal condyle, but it holds uh, the jaw where it articulates or moves. We also have the mental foramen, which is a small hole on the anterior of the mandible. There is one on this side of the mandible and also another one on the other side. This hole basically allows nerves to come through the jaw and go towards the teeth. Moving on to the palatine bone, um, it's below the palatine process or the maxilla, and on a better picture, it's really small, but your maxilla is up here, so it's below that. And it forms part of your nasal cavity and also your eye sockets, um, just the bottom part of your eye sockets, though, and then the hard palate. So if you've ever heard anyone talk about their palate, you know that uh, that relates to the mouth. And then um, there's two parts to this bone. And if they don't fuse properly, that's where you get the cleft palate. Um, however, the important parts of this are in um, pink. So moving on, this is just a better picture of where it would be located if you were just to view the skull as a whole. Um, it's better just to see with the colors. It's this kind of greeny yellow part. And uh, as you can see, it is below the maxilla, it, which is in purple. And that basically, as a whole, makes up your hard palate. And that is basically all. And we hope that you've learned about the mandible and palatine bones.